Okay, so it's time to do some work on the back of the car. Switch on the blueprints for that. So you can do that by going to view images. Unhide the back view. Select the front view, hide that so we don't want to be confused. Okay, where should I start? Let's activate the plane there as well, accept that. Let's go edit. Okay, what was I going to do? I was going to... Switch on to the back view. Actually, I was going to activate that plane here. Activate this one, the back one. And go to back. Let's... Let's go to Y view. It's getting pretty complicated now. Okay, so switch on the full view as well. We have the back here, we have the side here, the top. Okay, so create a new curve and we'll make a curve over here. Make a point there, we're going to move that point to the middle, but draw that line across and make it attach to this line. What's going on? Hold shift and make it attach there. Alright, that curve just jumped. Uh, Alright, just accept that curve there, go to edit and move that in manually. move it there and is that attached make sure it's attached on that curve and bring it to there and switch it to the other control points for this point here this point needs to be on horizontal so switch that to a horizontal so and this point here needs to move to the middle coordinates we put on coordinates and change that to 8.887.5 and it's moved to the middle and it's all good let's bring this curve down okay everything looks fine Switch to the right view. Actually, say that uh, I'm gonna draw four curves to this define this surface. So it's it's more accurate. I draw a curve here on the middle plane. Switch on to the right view. This is just a basic curve traveling down about there and accept I'll go edit bring on the control point this point here should be vertical we'll put that to vertical it doesn't actually blend up so we don't have to that should be fine and just snap this point onto this curve so and put it onto the middle Okay, accept that. I'm going to make a copy of this curve instead of making a new one. Turn on all views and drag this curve down. Okay, I won't let you drag it down, so click unlink and try to drag it down. If it still didn't work, so just accept that. And go and link here and go to move curve. Okay, so basically you just gotta do another view because the middle plane is activated. 
So let's just put about there. And accept that. Go to curves, snap those point onto the lines. So we can start to top view. Okay, we just gotta fix the back. Okay, we can make the surface now since we have the four curves. And voila. So, switch on shaded view. Okay, I think it's time to trim the surface here. So select that one. Just click trim. Click this curve here. And just remove that bit, except there's a gap here to fix that. What um, I thought this idea up. So um, a good idea to do that is to To do this, we select this surface and click draw a curve onto surface. Okay, we can't move that down. Let me check. So, cancel the trim before. This time, we'll define the. Put a curve here, draw it down slightly, and make another curve. This one travels up and click accept now go to trim trim this surface with this curve and remove the back section and also go to surface here and select this four curve to create a small surface there and make sure it's all tangent or curvature and accept so that's that bit's done there we can also hide this curve Okay, there's, that's, there's another problem there. Okay, so we need to extend this down further. Okay, that's it. And hide these so we don't get confused. Okay, we will add some more surface on the back. Switch to the right view. Click a curve. And also put on the other views. Make sure it's the normal curve. Draw a line at the end of the and then at the end of the surface and Draw a curve that's matching this line here. We're gonna make a surface on the bottom there, and accept that, and make sure the point sits on the corner, and this one should be in the middle. So to move it to the middle, we, I'll just like to edit the coordinate coordinates, and it jumps in. So. And do the same for the upper surface. This one is just about straight down. And it's a good idea to just add a slight curve because usually car surfaces are not flat. Switch on control points.
Okay, so just sweep, sweep the surface across, select the rail, select the cross section. And the same here. Select the rail, select the cross section. So we have something like this. Okay, right now I'll make a surface over here as well. Draw a curve here. Make sure it's snapped onto the curve. Yeah, the curve. Okay, this is need to move up about there. And actually, I'll just move the whole surface up. All right, maybe not. That's fine. Draw a curve here. And just this um make the points distributed evenly and we'll make the surface there. And leave on position, position, that's fine. So accept that. All right, so we just need to patch this bit here. So in this part, I just, I gotta move this curve onto this surface. So I select this one, go edit. Maybe select this one and move it in here okay sometimes it won't let you snap on so that is a problem we'll just try accept that and go regenerate and go edit again hopefully this time it works Okay, one snap on. Okay, this curve snaps on fine. I'll just move it there. Okay, one way we can work around this is go in and copy all these coordinates and and um copy all the co coordinates and enter it over here. So I'll just quickly do that. So just open notepad, type the coordinates down x, y, and z, and go over here, and enter into the... Okay, so after you enter the coordinates, both points should be right on top of each other. So, accept that, and click regenerate to for the surface to rebuild and we'll make a surface here so just go to click a new curve and create a curve here for this curve it will be extended slightly forward and I'll create another curve. This curve will connect right on the point here. And just make it curvy so it's similar to 
the other surface, other curve. So this curve here, we've got edit and add some control points. So the key is for surface to blend smoothly, the curve needs to be matching. And the same for this one. Okay, now we'll see if that works. So what you do, click the four curves here, make a surface, surface there, make sure that's on curvature, and this one will be blended with that. Okay, it's not working, so this curve actually needs to be drawn onto the surface, so we we'll do that again. So draw a curve on the surface, and make sure it sits right there, and make it go there. That's right, so select the four curves, and this time it should let you pick curvature, except that, so it should be blending across that surface there. Okay, I'll do a quick render, see how it looks. So there it is, looks, it's blended smoothly, looks fine. And I'll just quickly trim this bit here. Okay, so select this surface, create an intersecting curve with this surface. And select the surface and trim it out. So that's a back bit of the car looking fine and we just gotta we need to extend this surface down all right so that's the end of this video we're gonna do that in the next video hang tight stay tuned see you later